Hi guys, it's Miss Hannah. And Lauren. And today we have palms. And Tom. Yay! Yay! Oh, what is this, palms? <gasps> yes, palms? <gasps> oh. So, they want us to tell you a Bible story. Yay! What Bible story should we tell, palms and psalms? <gasps> oh. Story of the Ten Commandments. Yeah, that's cool, guys. All right, well, let's get started. And so, let's see. Would you like to see a picture, boys and girls? I would. Me too. So, see, here's Moses with his staff and the Ten Commandments. So, you know, we've been talking about Moses and how Moses was found by Egyptian princess in the basket. Yeah, he was saved. And then he went to the desert and he saw the burning bush. Oh. And the ten plagues that came. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but when they left, remember last week we talked how about how God opened the Red Sea. Yeah. He did. And let the Israelites go through. And then once the Egyptians were following them, he closed the river and got the Israelites to safety. Oh, God my. saved them. Yeah. That's so cool. So cool. And, and what is this, Palms? Mm-hmm. Oh, and Palms wants us to tell you that God gave them new rules called the Ten Commandments. Wow. Yeah, can you count to ten, boys and girls? You can? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job! Let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Yay! So, the Ten Commandments were new rules that God gave his people for them to follow. Oh. Yeah, so let's go through five today. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, God sent Moses with his staff mm -hmm. up the mountain. Oh. Yeah, and God wrote on a tablet, just, just like this, and he wrote his laws down. And so the first one was to worship no god but God, and don't make statues of pretend gods. That's right. Yeah, back then, people used to make statues of God that wasn't real. Oh, they were no. real gods. And they would bow down to the statues. And God didn't like that one bit. No. The other one was, do not speak badly of me or use my name in a bad way. Mm. Yeah. We're only supposed to be respectful towards God. We're only supposed to be loving towards God. Right. Yeah. And see, it's, we don't want to hurt God. No. no. And so, let's see. So spend every Sunday worshiping me instead of working. Right. So, so Sunday they had the Sabbath. Oh. Yeah, that's what they called it. So it was the last day of the week. Oh. And they would spend it worshiping God and going to church just like us on Sundays, boys and girls. Wow. Yeah, that's what we do. We come and we learn about God oh. and how much he loves us. Oh. Yeah. And the next one is to respect your parents. Oh. Now, what does that mean, Miss Lauren? Well, we listen to them and do what they tell us to do and obey them. That's right. So if they tell us to clean our rooms, what should we do, Miss Lauren? We should clean our rooms. That's right. Wow. And the last one is do not hurt people. That's right. And yeah, we're not supposed to hurt people. No. no, we're not supposed to hit. We're not supposed to be mean. God wants us to be nice to people. Yes. 
We should be nice to each other. What are some ways that we can be nice to each other, Miss Lauren? We can hug each other and share toys with each other. Right. Yeah. So we can play with each other. That's yeah. right. We can share. All right. So we can go through them again. So God is number one. We worship God and no one else. Yes. We don't speak badly about God. Right. No, or use his name in a bad way. We're supposed to be nice to God. Yes. We're supposed to spend the end of the week worshiping God. Right. Yeah, called the Sabbath. Oh. Respect our parents or do what our parents say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're not supposed to hurt people. That's right. Oh, you boys and girls are so smart. So smart. So we went through five commandments today. Can you count to five? You can? Okay, we'll help Holmes and us count to five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! Good job. So should we pray, Miss Lauren? I think we should. All right. How do we pray, Miss Lauren? All right, let's fold our hands and bow our heads and let our eyes boys and girls. Okay. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us, and thank you for giving us your laws, and thank you that we could come and learn about you. Thank you for all that you give us. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, boys and girls.